Hello everybody! In this video I will show you a tricky variation for black in French defense to avoid main theoretical lines, get a solid position with clear plan what to do in middle game. If you want to avoid lots of theory and have a nice position and surprise your opponent, take this video. My name is Pavel Martinov, I welcome you to my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Let's start! It's no matter knight c3 or knight d2 in this position, we will take on e4, takes, and bishop d7. And actually black's plan is really easy. We want to push the bishop to c6, knight to d7, knight to f6, and then according to the white reaction we will place bishop on e7, or even play g6 and bishop g7. Let's see this variation. Knight f3 here, bishop d3, so what are doing everything good here? Castle, knight f6. And just here, white has two general possibilities. The first one is knight g3, the main move. The second is knight d2. It's not that good to go back to c3 with this knight because white can't use c pawn somewhere to push c4 with the even ideas of d5. We will see them um, following in this video. So, uh, knight g3 is the main line, and let's start with the knight g3. And right here, I suggest you to play interesting move g6. That is not that classical like bishop e7. And this move was used by such grandmasters like Duda and Richard Rappert. So, the main line for white is b3, and I will show you the ideas. The sidelines are like c4, it's quite interesting. Bishop g7 and d5 right here. White's idea is that after takes on d5, they're playing rook e1, with treatment to the king, and black needs to lose a right to castle. But this position is quite okay for black. After king f8, right here, if white will take, we just can take, queen c2, c6, knight g5, and king g8. It's actually our idea to transfer this king to g8, push the h pawn somewhere, and put the king on h7. For example, here, here, takes, takes, king h7, the king is under safe right now, and uh, black has extra pawn, and they have really good uh, chances. Returning back to this position, uh, white can play b3, it's an interesting move, the idea is to check somewhere from a3, I think that the best move for black is king g8, bishop a3, and right here, uh, black has interesting move h5, maybe somewhere we will play h4, h3, maybe we will go with the king to uh, h7, but we need to uh, care about knight g5 check, and this position is really complicated, again, this king is not um, that good like after the castle because of the rook is here, but with h5 move we are doing something good for this rook, and this position again is really complicated and is playable for both sides. So, uh, the main line is not to play c4, is to play b3 again, but right here what has interesting possibility of rook e1, bishop g7 and h4. Actually, this way is suggested by computer, the idea that white wants to play h5 somewhere and h6 probably to treat this bishop uh, and this h-pawn on h6 will be really nice, annoying black position. Right here, actually, I will show you the amazing computer variation. Computer, after some thinking, suggests to play a5. So black are going with the similar idea, like after, for example, c3, to go a4 with the idea of a3. So it's really computer chess because white's idea is to push the pawn on h line, black's idea is to push the pawn on a line. So the position is actually really complicated and with some both chances uh, to all sides. b3 is the main move and actually the idea that after bishop g7, um, white wants to play bishop a3, to use this uh, bishop on g7, because right now it's impossible for black to castle. But right here, the black's idea is to play bishop f8. So if uh, white can return even to c1, and it will be a draw after bishop g7, so it can happen in your game. Um, if white will uh, take on f8, we are going with take, and we want to transfer our king to g7, and the king will be under safe, and the position is good, so in one of the games was like there, 
c6 actually this is the typical way for black in such pawn structure they are going to give white a bishop but they want to place these pawns on white square so, uh, to cut this bishop and use so that the position is quite close and their knights are really not that bad and actually black's idea is somewhere to push a5 a4 using this b3 move maybe somewhere in future they can push c5 or e5 depends on the situation because uh, the main uh, goal for black right now is to finish the development so c3 here here a5 so we're going to play a4 and actually this position is quite interesting um that was the game aranyan duda here and actually this is really complicated you can see more uh by duda games here mm, i think that this is really playable playable for black so after bishop f8 the main line is bishop b2 and we are returning to g7 so and right here the position even that we waste a tempo to bishop f8 bishop g7 and white has a bishop on b2 uh, this position is really interesting for black i will show you some uh, pieces uh, from the grandmasters games for example here we're doing the same typical idea here a5 again so the point is that black position is very solid and it's really hard for white to create some treatments and open the position for these bishops this is really i think playable again for both sides so and actually actually after bishop a3 like bishop f8 here here c4 castle here again i think that you are understanding that we will take on f3 takes c6 rook d1 a5 rook e8 it is also a normal idea so black wants to push e5 somewhere so for example after knight e2 the knight blocked this rook and we can push e5 immediately here here and this position also interesting for black to play so rapper played in his game a5 a3 rook e8 very solid position for black again so um, actually it's hard to do something with white because they need to make some attacking moves and uh black can catch white on this uh on this attacking uh moves like here like h4 pound actually is not that good and in the future a uh, black will use the g4 point like after here knight g4 here c5 and rapper actually won this game so we can see that the pound structure is not that good we have some treatments to a d4 pound this rook and using actually this bishop so black are really good here so our main idea was to play uh, after knight g3 j6 and i recommend you to try this because especially in the blitz the position is very solid it's really easy for black to make the most the strategical idea is to take by the bishop and push the c pawn this is a really interesting position let's go to the other main move of white knight d2 after knight d2 we are going with bishop to e7 it's quite dangerous to use g6 trick here because um in the position after knight g3 the knight uh, on g3 is not good because even this pawn on g6 cutting him the squares f5 and h5 right here white after g6 can transfer the knight from c4 to e5 somewhere to make some more pressure and this knight will be much better than he's staying on g3 doing nothing so bishop e7 is good move c4 one of the possible moves here 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 again we are using this after b3 is our idea is to push a5 with a4 and that was the game of rapper and he won so same ideas same ideas just our bishop on e7 not on g7 so and rapper actually got normal position really interesting to play and um, he was successful in this game returning back uh, to the beginning after knight e2 bishop e7 uh it's also possible to play rook e1 here and knight c4 the same idea to bring the knight to e5 and right here black can use a computer line to have a good position bishop d5 so uh we can see that uh, white can't push the c pawn 
no more so it's impossible to treat bishop with c4 right right now because of this knight on c4 and after here white wants to play a c4 to treat this bishop and we are going with c5 and the idea is that after c4 we are taking takes 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 here the knight is going out and rook d8 we have this rook, nice rook on the open file. This queen is feels uncomfortable. And actually, black has some chances. And the idea in future is to place the bishop to c5 to make some treatments to f2 pawn. And actually, black has interesting idea to transfer the knight from b8 even to c6 to use maybe this weak field uh, d4 or maybe to push even to b4 in the future. And that's a position, again, playable for both sides. Uh, Black has chances uh, to receive a nice counterplay. With help of this my video, you can add a simple and solid line for Black to your opening for Porsche. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to just don't forget to see new videos about openings and chess strategy.